Hey guys, Bradham73 here. Welcome back to Battletech. Oh, uh, let's see here. We, I think I've got, yeah, I've got a couple guys out of action, and I want to make sure we go to the barracks to make sure everybody got their experience. I think we did. I think we doled everything out. Ready for orders. I hear ya. Okay. Standing by. Uh, we also have some mechs that we need to uh, do some repair and refit on um this is not one of them uh this one um i want to i want to swap this lrm5 out so whoops because we've got the lrm5 plus plus definitely want to take advantage of that um we also have a medium laser plus plus we'll take advantage of still no AC5 pluses or anything like that uh, we'll go ahead and repair and then yeah confirm that'll take 12 days Log oh my gosh and noted. Um, let's just look in the hard. store really quick ah okay And we're we're still at um, reputation ten percent price increase, and yeah, we're still at Clough's stand. Okay, um, let's go ahead and get all of the max lined up for repair here. Uh, this one should just be a quick repair, seven days. Another hopefully quick repair, two days, very quick. And so we're gonna go to the command center. And we're going to try first strike, travel to Weldry to carry out our first major operation against the Directorate. We'll brief you more fully when you arrive and prepare yourself, Commander. After this drop, we will be at war. All right. By your command. By your command. <laughs> it always reminds me of, was that ba the old Battlestar Galactica? The, the old Cylons? If you hear me slurping on anything, it's me sipping my coffee. I will apologize in advance for all the slurpiness. Shadowhawk is almost done. I love these jump sequences. They're freaking awesome. Though we're going to have several of them. We have to make multiple jumps to get the Weldry. Apparently it takes three days to recharge. Go, right. oh, we are finally almost there. Okay, Job's everything done. is good. Right before the uh, financial financial report, which is good. Oh, that's a pretty planet. Um, not yet. Let's just take a quick look at into the store. See if we see anything super awesome. <gasps> it Oh, it was a small, ooh, small laser plus. LRM 15. I don't think we have anything with LRM 15s on it. No AC 5s, though. We did get a range finder. Plus 25 meter view distance. That would actually New work well. Available. For the Centurion, because we have him set up as the, um, yeah, we got dual L LRM 20s. Hopefully, this just takes a day. Two days. So, we're going to get our, uh, I'll let you know when that's done. <clears throat> our financial, yep. I wrapped up oh. the financial. Oh. 
All right, so let's go ahead and launch the contract. First strike in or orbit of Weldry. Alex Madeira. I've been saying his name wrong. I was saying Madeira, but it's actually Madeira. Um, Weldry, one of the most notorious hellholes in the Oregon Reach. Everything about this place is hostile to human life, and for the past three years, Espinosa has used it as a dumping ground for his political enemies. The Directorate has a prison complex on the planet's surface. The inmates call it the Ice Box. Image of an imposing structure appears on your view screen. It has the solid, heavy walls that you've come to accommodate with Tarian architecture. It's a holding facility for political prisoners, including high-value hostages, members of the founding family, spouses, sons, and daughters. If we liberate the prison and set them free, we break Espinoza's leverage over the founding houses. The political map will change overnight. If we don't know what the Directorate has, uh, has been doing to our people in there, oh, we don't know what the Directorate has been doing to our people in there, but we have to set them free, not just for political gain, but because they're our people, and we need your help to do it. Um, let's see here. Aren't the founding lords and ladies supposed to be figureheads? There are different kinds of power, Dark Star. The founding houses may be anemic in terms of martial strength, but their words still carry weight in the Oregon Reach. If they rally behind us, the people who love them will follow. Governments have been toppled with less. My uncle has hard-line supporters everywhere. Their ranks have swelled in the absence of strong opposition. But the remaining members of the founding council will rally their people against the directorate if given the chance. By freeing Weldry, we will give them that chance. All right. Everything from the sub-zero climate to the inedible vegetation. The whole planet is infested with blood-sucking insects. The swarms can stretch for miles. Afraid not, they're called Branson's Mosquitoes. Imagine a colonial biting fly the size of your thumb. They serve as carrier, carriers for harmful bacteria. And you're dropping infantry there on purpose? The army will be safe. Population centers like the Icebox use ultrasonics to keep the swarms at bay, but thank you for your concern. All right, well, you got an army. What do you need us for? Subtle, decisive action. I will lead the army in an all-out assault on the Directorate's primary spaceport. After I've drawn their attention, you will sneak in, attack the Ike's box, and liberate it. We'll send my uncle's hostages free and put the founding families in our debt, all in one fell swoop. All right. Um, all right. Understood. My lance is ready to go. I'll remain in radio contact with you after we hit the ground. Good hunting, Dark Star. Give my uncle's troops the hell they, that they have earned. After the Directorate presence on the planet has been crushed and the icebox has been liberated, we'll regroup to celebrate our... All right. I'd almost take Medusa just to have the better morale. Because I still... I don't know if Glitch and Decker are bugged or what, but hopefully maybe that'll change fairly soon. All right, so we got two Shadow Hawks, three Shadow Hawks. I, I almost feel like refitting one of the Shadow Hawks with the PPC, though I don't think that will work. Though it is 10 tons heavier, so let's go with three Shadow Hawks and a Centurion. <laughs> and hopefully we'll do pretty good on this. The key word being hopefully. Well, it's only a one and a half skull difficulty mission, so I don't know. We shall see. Command interface initiated. Otherwise, we're about ready to get our butts waxed. There are two entrances into the complex, Commander. Intel says each is defended by a series of elevated turrets. I'm also seeing LR an LRM emplacement between the two checkpoints. Battle mech defenses should be practically nil. As predicted, Lady Arano's preemptive strike has already drawn the prisoner, the prison's standard garrison away. Okay. Good luck. Let's see what we've got. Oh, 
Way over here. Oh. Um. We could probably come way down here and blast through one of these walls. So I'm really afraid that there's going to be turrets all over the place. So I kind of feel obligated to um, check those out. So let's uh, Roger that. kind of move forward here. On the move. Don't need to tell me twice. Let's jump up here. Engaging jump jets. It looks like we'll have access to these turret generators now. Engaging target. Wow, really? Commander? Right, Decker, I'm gonna put your LRMs over here. Taking the shot. One less structure. Oh, did we... Oh, so we did destroy them both. This one doesn't look as destroyed. Yes, Commander. Oh, well, that's because it's not. Okay. Roger that. Locking on target. Awesome. One less target. Now, I thought I saw... Oh, here we go. There's more turret generators there. Prison gate. We have to get here, I guess. Hmm. What can I do for you? Um, brace for right now, Good for Gorge. now. Cooling down a bit. I'm gonna kind of jump, maybe sprint over here. Affirmative. Heading and, out. Is that the? Oh, that's the map border right there. got somebody down there waiting for orders and of course waiting I've only got orders. one person with sensor lock ready for orders well let's reserve and see if it moves towards us hey commander I've got something on my sensors commander Hemus. Here we go. I don't think, no, it's not going to put us in line of sight. It will allow us to brace. Let's reserve everybody till the final round. This is the warden. We have an intruder alert. All combat units prepare to repel hostile. Uh oh. Okay, we got about eight damage there. Nothing significant. Light damage. Holding firm. Orders. All right. Hopefully we'll take this bulldog out and vehicle destroyed. Reporting. One less vehicle. Can't, um, I'm not going to be able to see anything. Good to go. Uh, all right, let's brace. Sounds smart. Get everybody cool. on the same, uh, same turn here. And we're going to reserve. Hopefully he'll come up towards us.
a scorpion. Ouch. Warning. Armor low. Really? Okay. Engaging jump jets. Uh oh. All right, let's uh, hit the scorpion with everything we got. Oh, nice. Enemy unit destroyed. Honestly, I did not think I was going to get that. What's up, boss? Okay, so let's continue. We're going to jump and try to move up towards those turrets and take the turrets out. I think I'm going to try to take those turrets out, obviously the vehicles, and then take out these turret generators. Not a scratch. Receiving you. Yeah. I move up. 85. Come on, give me 80% at least. No, well, guess I'm not going to get it. Okay, move. Make sure, always make sure that you have move selected and not sprint. This that can really Firing shaft you if you're you know, if you're unprepared for it. Vehicle trashed. Waiting on you, Commander. If I sprint or... Oh, I can go much further if I sprint. Double time! Get some good evasive, though she'll probably take missile fire from both of these turrets up here. Standing by. 85%. There we go. On my way. We'll move uh, Decker up slightly. I doubt all the these uh, LRMs are going to take this out, but Firing we'll a see. full salvo. All right, I stand corrected. One less turret. Now where? Okay, so he's over there. Okay, so now we've got some more vehicles Ready moving. Ready for orders. Dark stars down here. Glitch Good to go. Down here. Let's have her jump about here. No sweat. Hopefully, if we can take out that other turret. Prison gate on the other side are going to be your best. Prison gates on either side are going to be your best. Oh, okay. Blow them down and make your way inside. All right. Or jump the wall. This isn't going to take it out. Firing on target. Okay. Got, oh, we've got a large laser and the LRM 5 plus plus. Okay. Oh. We just had to miss with one. Oh, nice. Turret destroyed. Okay. Good to go. Jumping. So now it's just basically going to be jumping down the border uh, until we can take out those turret generators. There's four of them. I think two of them were probably for these guys, but I'm just going to destroy all of them just in case. I have 
sprint on? I don't think so. Bulldog, fire everything we got. Very nice. Very, very nice, guys. Ouch! Warning. Armor breached. Internal damage. Good to go. Okay, let's move him forward. Location confirmed. Now let's see how you handle this. Vehicle destroyed. Reporting. Enemy vehicle eliminated. Standing by. Uh, I hear ya. Oh, okay. She's gonna have line of sight on one of the generators, at least. Roger that! Firing on target! But it's not enough. Receiving you. Acknowledged. Firing on fire. Target. Still not enough. Brought wow. it down, Commander. Oh wait, what? Okay. Oh my gosh, my left arm is almost blown off. I, I only have two structure in that arm. Which is not good. That might... That's my left arm, so I want to put my right side towards him. Oh no, I'm going to blow my arm off. <laughs> there goes that medium plus plus laser. Ugh. Waiting oh for order. Gosh, I can't believe I did that. Copy that. Target acquired. Waiting on you, Commander. Okay. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Uh huh. I'm gonna fire on the other one. Nice. Yes, Commander. Decker, I'm gonna have. Well, so, you know, aside from you moving forward. Moving to position. I let that arm get blown off. Oh, that's right. You can only fire on one target, so we're going to have to fire target. on the completely attacked generator. Easily destroying it. Brought it down, Commander. I'm just gonna brace with Dark Star. Engaging coolant system. Hopefully he'll come up and shoot at me again. Gosh. I can't believe it had so much damage on it. Good to go. I mean, I think I only got hit for 45 hit points, didn't I? Oh yeah, we gotta try to take this guy out. And there we go. 
he is done. Vehicle down. Exiting combat, all right. Taking the shot. Target eliminated. What's up, boss? Decker, why don't you move up here? Got it. Let's see, glitch. Move up with you. On my way. Just have her take out this last generator. Should be pretty good to go. Here we go. Done. Turn her up. Uh, Brought it down, Commander. Moving to position. We'll just move everybody down here. Moving out. Um, we'll just fire with our energy weapons so we're not wasting ammo. Location confirmed. Do the same thing with Behemoth. Target confirmed. What can I do for you? You can come up here and take this door out, Glitch. Coordinates received. Oh, I didn't know she had an SRM too. I guess I do now. Tell me what to shoot. I didn't even see her fire the laser. Waiting for orders. I copy. Almost sprinted there, <laughs> which would meant would have meant I uh, not have been able to fire. All right. Target building destroyed. Acknowledged. Decker, Let's put you like over here. Excellent work, Commander. The prison is ours. All directorate personnel to action station. This is not a drill. Let's see, looks like you've got more company. I'm seeing heat signatures coming online in the prison mech bay. The warden must have held a lance in reserve. Sit tight, Commander. Lady Arano is aware of the situation. Reinforcements are on the way. Oh, I'm still back here. Sensors have something. Jenner? And an another Jenner? Oh, he's just guarded. Okay. All right, so let's move forward. Hopefully we can take this Jenner out quickly. Oh good, we're in his left firing arc too. Which means there's a higher probability that we'll hit one of his legs. Uh-oh. Barely hit, Commander. Waiting for orders.
I just take one more hit. We might, uh. Uh oh. They don't like Decker. I'm showing minor damage. Good. What's up, Bach? Acknowledged. Aww. Okay. Standing by. Where'd all my LRMs go? Didn't he have like 360? Didn't I change this? In a previous episode? What is going on here? So if I fire... All my LRMs at... Uh, Taking a protective stance. Ouch. Damage is light. For the Oregon people, Kamea Arano. Uh oh. Wait, is that her? Right, little man, run away, run away. Ouch. Engaging jump jets. Okay. I'm gonna engage the Jenner. Knockdown. Pilot injured. Fight harder, damn you! We can't let this prison fall! Pilot incapacitated. I will take that. Okay, so Kamea. Oh no, what do we have? We've got a Jaeger mech. A... Centurion, it looks like, and then what's the other thing? Is that a is that a oh it's a trebuchet, uh oh. Standing by. She has such a terrible hit percentage. Here we go. Precision strike. Don't let me down. Confirmed. Not gonna be a head strike. Ooh. Take that. That was a heck of a hit though. The trebuchet's bugging out, he's like, uh-uh. Uh oh. Receiving you. Huh. All right, we're gonna just jump uh -huh. forward. About all I can do. We're gonna fire on the Jaeger mech. Special delivery. Another hit like that, and you're toast! Now Decker can move forward now. Ready for orders. And he's not affected, really. Affirmative. By line of sight issue, so we can move him forward. The only problem is, as soon as he's out of LRMs, he's gonna have to just go Bailey. Yeah, Jaeger mech might get knocked down right here, though. Oh, can I call it or can I call it? Hey, 
And he's gonna get right back up. Great, now he's gonna back up. I guess I'm gonna have to take on the uh, Centurion. Still have some good weapons here. Unfortunately, it's probably gonna pour his center torso. What is she gonna do? Uh, No way, she didn't just take that out. Ooh, Alpha. Yes, Commander. All right, we're dumping over here. center torso destroyed um i don't even see the rifleman it's like completely vaporized or not the rifleman the jaeger mech orders um uh let's move forward to with glitch Ready, set. <laughs> she like flew through this. I don't know, whatever that was. Let's go for. Oh, we can't go for a headshot, darn it. Time to die. All right. Good to go. 60. Uh, just sprint him up, I guess. Roger that. Is she going to melee him? shot anymore. Let's All fire everything. Go. I would like to be able to salvage the uh, the Jaeger mech. Where is it? Oh, there it is. I don't know what the heck she hit, but... <laughs> I'm not going to complain too much, I don't guess. Decker, what do you got for him? There we go, 80%. Order received. That's more like it. Giving him everything I've got. Left torso. Oh, center torso. Nice. Hostile eliminated. Too bad we won't get much salvage from that. <laughs> Prison is ours. Thanks for the assist. <clears throat> there will be no celebrating. Not after what I saw out there. God's Darius. The things the Directorate has done to these people. Kamea, I need you to meet me in the prison hospital right now. What is it? Better that you see for yourself. And Kamea, prepare yourself. This isn't going to be easy. Mission successful. Uh-oh.
right, success at 1.76 million. Uh, ooh, Jaeger mech. Yes, Jaeger mech. Jaeger mech. Yay, there, there's a full mech. Um, I don't feel like I should get the tree bucket, but... The trebuchet, I'm sorry. Yeah, let's get the trebuchet. We are gonna have a Jaeger mech. My two favorite mechs, the, the Jagger mech and the tree bucket. <laughs> I kid, I kid. By the time our forces found him, it was too late. I'm sorry, Kamea. He was here all this time. Russia. kind of thought that he would have escaped you know at the beginning of the game and then to know that he did and then died here this fuck uh, this sucks man I'm so sorry I know how much how much Mastiff meant to you he was a friend and a mentor to us both he was more than that I the old man was like a second father to me and my uncle condemned him to waste away on this rock, to die wretched and broken in agony. I knew Siraji longer than either of you. I'll avenge him, I promise you that. We'll avenge him together. There's no coming back from what I've witnessed today. What they've done here is monstrous. It's inhuman. Our intel was wrong, Alexander. The icebox isn't a prison. It's a meat grinder. Gods, my own family is behind this. And what's left of mine has chosen to look the other way. It isn't, it isn't an easy thing to wrap your head around, but try to remain focused. We've just liberated the directorate's hostages. With a single blow, you've shattered your uncle's hold on the founding houses. The prisoners you've set free are already calling you the Sword of Restoration. We need to spread this message all the way to Coromordir and get, uh, to galvanize your supporters and weaken Espinosa's popularity there. Espinosa stole the throne at gunpoint. How much popularity could he have? More than you'd expect. Remember that Espinosa's first priority was the centralization of power. That meant a tremendous growth in resources and infrastructure on the throne world. The citizens of Coromadir enjoy fewer personal freedoms than they once did, but their lives have improved greatly in a material sense, and people will forgive a great deal for security and comfort. With our victory on Weldry, we have, uh, we've all seen what happened to those who would not be brought, who would not be bought or indoctrinated. Those who refused to kneel before a tyrant. We know what became of the people who were made to disappear, and soon enough, the entire reach will know it too. The momentum is on our side, Kamea. We need to take advantage of it. You're right, this isn't the time for hand wringing. But Alexander, you didn't see what I saw out there on the other end of the battlefield. The work crews all hunched and broken, the graveyards, great fields of unmarked burial plots that stretched as far as the eye could see. Every time I blink, I see it, the misery that was allowed to fester here. 
Back before we met, I traveled with a merchant caravan. I saw a lot of horrible things too, but nothing like this. This place, the things my uncle sanctioned here, will tarnish the art Aregan reach forever. We used to be better than this. This place is going to stay with these people for the rest of their lives. I'd do anything to be able to spare them of that hurt, but I can't. Word of advice from an old veteran, Lady Arano. Focus on something you can do. Give us an order. Tell us to blow something up. Use your imagination. The key is, you do something and you move on. Thank you, Chief Bertanen. You have a good crew, Darkstar. I have a new assignment for you and a reward for your service. The Argo appears on your view screen. She's in rough shape, but she appears to be space-worthy. Space for decades, the wreck site of the Argo was one of my father's most cl closely held secrets. When I sent you to retrieve her, I meant for her to serve, as, serve a symbolic purpose, a sign of rebirth and renewal emblazoned with the Arano Cormorant for all to see. I was naive. This is a time for action, not symbols. And so, Darkstar, I have decided that she will be yours to command. Yay! The Argo will serve as your new home, and she will fly your mercenary banner. Lord Madi uh, Madeira, I keep wanting to call him Madeira, Lord Madeira will join you to act as my liaison. And in return, you will grow stronger, sharper, more flexible, you will hone your company to a razor's edge, one that will hold the director its throat. In that case, congratulations, you've got yourself a navy. <laughs> if that's settled then, please come in, go back to the triage tent and get those wounds looked at. The conditions here are beyond unsanitary and you'll be of no use to anyone if you're dying of tetanus. Our soldiers can tend to the wounded. We need you strong for the fight ahead. I will, Alexander, but not just yet. Assemble your people in the courtyard. There's something that I need to say. People of the Oregon Reach, I am Kamea Arano, and I have failed you. For three long years, Director Espinosa has imprisoned and starved and murdered our people. And where was I? Hiding in a palace, light years away, building support, planning, while the directorate's secret police turned neighbor against neighbor, made your loved ones disappear, conscripted your children. I wasn't here. I didn't know. The crimes that I have witnessed here today are unforgivable. No doubt, Director Espinosa believes that the ends justify the means, that the Oregon Reach has been made strong. Well, I say that strength built on fear is brittle. The Directorate is a paper tiger, and I declare this restoration today to rally the true strength of our people, our resilience, and our freedom. Let Weldry be a call to arms. <clears throat> Join us, and together we will liberate the Founding Houses and retake Cormadir. Not because it is my birthright, but because the Directorate's crimes against you, the Oregon people, will no longer be tolerated. That is what I fight for, and I vow to fight for your freedoms to my dying breath. These cutscenes are pretty freaking intense. Even though they're kind of static, the artwork is just beautiful. Half ship will travel in orbit on Weldry. Dr. Farah Mar uh, Murad. Hello again, my mercenary friends. Before you officially take possession of the Argo, I wanted to introduce myself in person. We never really got a chance to meet properly on Axelus. So, uh, hi, I'm Dr. Farad Murad. Farah. Farah Murad, or just Farah if you prefer. It's nice to meet you all face to face. Yeah, Doc, you too. I'm going to call you Doc, by the way. You should probably go ahead and get used to it. It was impressive work you did getting the Argo flying. Between you and me, I had my doubts. Honestly, I did too. 
You should have seen what the Argo's interior looked like after a couple hundred years of pirate occupation. Actually, I take that back. If you'd seen what I saw, you would never have wanted to set foot inside. Take it from me, the ship has been deloused from bow to stern, and every meter of her has been hosed down with industrial, ge industrial grade disinfectant. This ship is clean enough to eat off of, I swear it. Uh, let's see here. I'll, uh, thanks for, I'm sure we all appreciate it. Um, yeah, we all appreciate it. I'm pleased to hear it. And I'm glad we're getting off on the right foot. It, it, it isn't every day that you get to introduce your, your new crewmates to the ship you just rebuilt. Um, hear that, Yang? We're finally getting a shipboard engineer. That's good, because I don't have a clue how anything on this boat works. Frankly, I'm amazed that Doc Murad managed to get her flying at all. Honestly, I am too. Only a little, because I'm very good at what I do, but it was kind of touch and go there for a while. Oh, and Darius, I'm sorry about all the shouting back on Axelus. As it turns out, getting shot at by pirates puts me on edge. No hard feelings? None at all. Keep this beast flying and you can yell at me as much as you want. Hell, I'm used to it. Welcome to the family. You too, Lord Madeira. I never, admitted, I never imagined we'd be working together, but I'm glad to have the opportunity. As am I, Mr. Oliveria. Uh, over the year, over the years of our exile, Lady Arano told me a great deal about you and your company. All of it good. Even before the events of the coup, she knew about Mark, uh, Markham's marauders. Your assistance uh, in her father's Zalger campaign uh, <laughs> did not go unnoticed. I don't know how the heck you pronounce that. It was a job, Lord Madeira. We only did what the High Lord Tamati paid us to do. Still, it feels good to be appreciated and to know what someone out there know that someone out there still remembers Commander Markham's name. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Welcome to the Arga. There we go. Thank you, Commander Knight. Speaking of which, you'll have some time to break your new ship in before Lady Irano is ready to move on Panzer. She needs to consolidate our forces on Weldry and replace our losses with fresh volunteers. You remember her orders. You are to sharpen your company and grow strong. And now that you have a mobile command center worthy of the title, I suggest that you use it. All right, I'll get you a fresh batch of contracts to look over. The whole Rimworld periphery is our oyster. The whole Rimworld periphery is our oyster now. Man, who writes this? We won't be limited by debts or travel restrictions. Exciting times, I've got to say. All right, you're telling me... Uh, better put that freedom to good use. Um, how about it? Yeah, okay, later. All right. No, it won't. So let's quit talking and go explore our new ship. Yes, let's do it. Yes! The Argo is not in good shape, but with time, money, and some of Chief Vertanen's technical resources, we can address most of the major problems, maybe even make this place nice again. I'll be in engineering if you want to know more. Lady Rana said she wanted us to get stronger, but these mech facilities will finally have the resources to do just that. Bring me scrap mechs from missions and shops and I'll rebuild them into fighting machines. And remember, boss, when it comes to mechs, bigger is usually better. Yeah, that's what she said. That mech you wanted is back online. All right, the Jaeger mech is online. So I'm gonna have to put one of these mechs. I guess I'll put the, um, what does this guy have on it? I can't see. Um, we're gonna send the old uh, blackjack into storage. Check out the mech bay here. Or we're gonna need to refit. Eh. And well, at least we get another medium laser. Can I put it anywhere else? So, no. All right. Five days. All right. So, right. I'll get it in the schedule. Well, that was good. We actually got through that mission without, you know, too much problem. Uh, let's go make sure our mech warriors are all um, 
Yeah, we'll get her up to seven. I want to get her to precision. Everybody that has the gunnery skill, I want to get them up so that we can start pushing them up the gut scale. Training confirmed, Commander. For the guts line. So we're, that's what we're going to work on. Neck warrior training. Order. Decker, let's see what do we get. Plus two health. Nope. You're going to go up in tactics. So we can get the master tactician. Training complete. What can I do for Glitch? you? Glitch. Well, you can uh, increase your gunnery training for me. Commander. And Medusa is... He's Welcome where to the he grease is. pit, Commander. Awesome. Look at this. Look at the new. So, this is our Jaeger mech, then, right? Oh, this is the one I think that I was thinking that I could refit with the AC 10 Plus by dropping two of the. You know, by dropping these two. So, we got six tons there, eight tons there, 12 tons. Yeah, so we'll, we. We could probably mess around with this guy a little bit. Um, maybe not right now, though. Let's go and take a look at uh, engineering. We can go and uh, look at the upgrades that we're going to need. Um, all right, so we do have a med bay now, I think, which is installed. Uh, repair and refit. Power systems, 10 days. Structure, 15 days. Um, ab pods, 20 days. 1,000. We're going to have five tech points right now, so I think... Well, for right now, we don't have any mechs that are damaged, so let's uh, purchase right. these repair the conduits. Right and you're going to see right now the Argo is in pretty bad shape. She's got, you know, a lot of carbon scoring. You can see from the, the beta pods, the alpha beta, what is it, alpha beta and charlie pods, or are they all just called beta pods? Anyway, um, you can see that, um, you know, they're damaged. You can see the damage along the Argo. So as we uh, upgrade and repair the ship, uh, this, the, the look of the ship is actually going to change, and um, it'll look, you know, more repaired. So eventually, it's fully repaired. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's see. In the meantime, I think let's kind of just take a quick look at the contracts. We do have a few contracts here that are are available. Uh, we'll probably take those and uh, try to. You know, again, get some more salvage. Um, but I think that's going to be it for this uh, episode of Battle Tech. I appreciate you guys hanging out. Uh, this has been a you know story mission, so we're going to go back to uh, the uh, you know kind of like the random missions, and uh, like I said, just try to build up the lance and get some heavier mechs uh, for the Panzer mission, which is not an easy one. So guys, um, hit like if you once again enjoyed uh, the episode. Uh, leave a comment let me know how I'm doing or what you would have changed or done differently during this mission. Uh, and if you haven't done so, please subscribe for this and many more videos. Guys, once again, this has been Battletech, and I'm Brad M 73 We'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.